No. Councillor Parker to speak. On behalf of Councillor um, Pasternak, I have a motion that uh, 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 that would amend his motion. The motion is that uh, motion 11A by Councillor Pasternak be referred to the expert advisory panel for consideration. And the, ex the expert advisory panel uh, in question is the one contemplated by Councillor Stintz's motion. I can, uh, I can add that editorial comment. This has it's been a difficult issue. It's been a good debate. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the day. Quite honestly, we haven't touched on all of the issues that we might well have touched on. Uh, but we have done a pretty good job of canvassing the issues that we have pulled forward for discussion. I, I would suggest that uh, a full airing has been given to both sides of the question of the merits of how to, how to uh, manage rapid transit on, uh, on Eglinton, which is the question that is most urgent before us today. That is the one where uh, decisions are being made, decisions have already been made, uh, money is being spent, design work is being done, and commitments are being made that uh, are going to affect the ultimate outcome of that uh, project and, uh, and the disposition of taxpayers' money. That is the one that uh, we really do need to decide here and now. Uh, and it was, of course, on that basis that uh, I, I could not see fit to deferring uh, the questions before us on that aspect of the day's proceedings. Uh, the question of Shepherd, I've, I've already made the point that I see a lot of room for debate, and we also have time for debate on Shepherd, and there's time to do more study on Shepherd. So it's quite right that we set that one to one side and we take a closer look at Shepherd. And of course, the particular situation we face there is we already have part of a subway. So we all face the question what do you do with part of a subway? Well, that's a fair. Uh, uh, issue to grapple with and to debate, and, uh, and uh, quite appropriately we set that one for further review at another time, and uh, who knows where we'll come to land on that question, but that's not the one that is urgent uh, at the moment, that's, the one that, that's not the one that uh, we need to settle on immediately. One, one point about uh, the question of Eglinton. I would suggest has not been canvassed fully, and, and I'll take a, a, an attempt at just touching on some of the aspects of it now. That is, you know, we're not just here trying to determine the best way to move a lot of people from point A to point B. If that were the only question, if it were only a matter of determining how you move a large population from one point on the map to another point on the map without interfering with anybody else between those two points, uh, there is a lot of merit to the suggestion that you dig a tunnel and you run a subway train through it, because that's how you do it. And if it costs a little bit extra to do that, maybe it uh, pays off in the long run for the, uh, in, in terms of the uh, collateral benefits that come uh, over the, the, uh, the, the lifetime of, of the project. But when you're building a subway, you're doing more than, or when you're building a transit system, you're doing more than that. Because you're not just building a means of getting a large number of people from one point to another point. You're building a system. And you're not just building a transit system, you're building a city. So you have to ask yourself, what is the best way to build a city? I see I'm already at four minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, I, I think uh, we should keep in mind that uh, the kind of city you build with, with surface transit is a city that has more general uh, development the, across the board along the corridor of the uh, transit corridors. When you build a subway system with stations at distant points from one another, you tend to get high density development at the nodes and somewhat less development between the nodes. Uh, I certainly see that as less desirable de development. So to my mind, and I would urge this on the others, it's not a question of, 
of choosing L an LRT as the second best alternative, I would suggest that an LRT is the better alternative of the options available to us. Uh, and you know what, I, I will take a, an extension just to make a further point. Recorded vote. Recorded vote on the extension. Councillor Robinson, please. Councillor Crawford, please. Councillor Kelly, please. And Councillor Perks. Councillor Mahavik, please. Councillor Min and Wong, your vote, please. Councillor Parker, may we have your vote, please? The motion to extend the speaker's time carries unanimously. Thirty-one in favor. Thank you. Uh, a lot of well, I think everyone has dealt with this question with honor and this debate with honor. None more so than our mayor, who spoke passionately during the election campaign about his vision for the city. He put it out there for everyone to take a look at. The people voted. He uh, was uh, the, 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 the voters spoke, uh, and he won that election. He sits in the office of mayor, uh, and he feels honor bound to deliver on the commitments that he made in the, in the election campaign. I respect that. Uh, he has stood up for that, and he has not wavered from that. Um, he has been very decent with me in my opposition to that, to that position uh, and uh, has been very uh, sensitive in understanding that I come down on a different position on it. Uh, there is a, the, the argument is made that uh, people want subways, not LRTs. The fact of the matter is subways are not on offer for Eglinton. What is available to us is not a subway line, even if that is what we wanted. And I would suggest that is not the, the uh, recommendation I would make. But even if we were to um, prefer a subway line to, uh, to an LRT, that choice is not available to us. The choice that is available to us is to buy LRT vehicles at a cost premium and to decide whether we put them on the surface or through the tunnel. We do not have the option of building a conventional subway line. Uh, given all of the alternatives, given the, the uh, cost to the taxpayers, and given the best results for the, building the kind of city that I think we should want to build, I'm with the choice to put the Eglinton LRT on the surface east of the Don Valley. 